Hi all, in this video, let's learn how to create Cypress test cases by using Chrome DevTools Recorder. So firstly, we'll understand what is this DevTool Recorder, like what it is, okay? This is a sample application. So I will show you what is this recorder. Uh, and with this recorder, what we can do? Okay, later we can understand how to generate the Cypress test cases, okay? Firstly, I will show you two ways how to open the recorder option from the developer tools. One is go to this, uh, three dots, more options here. Here you can see more tools. Inside this, you can see the recorder option. This is one way to open the recorder option. The second way here, you can see run command. It means like uh, command shift and P. If you type this, you'll be getting this run command. There you can search for the recorder and you can select this recorder. Okay, now you we got recorder option where it is in the dev tools. What to do with this recorder option? This recorder option will help us to record the user flow. For example, this is a sample application, right? So you can capture the user flow. So let's see, let's record it once. So I'm creating a new recording. I will name this as buying a coffee. Okay, just you can name anything here, but it will come as your test script name. Okay, you can name anything here. And I'm starting recording. Okay, now I will do certain actions. I will add this. Okay, and I will add this. Okay, the total is $20 and it was added to the cart and I'm checking out. So I need to give the name and I need to give the, give the email ID. Okay, and I need to give, select this and submit. Okay, I'm ordering the coffee now. Okay, now thanks for purchase. So a flow, a complete happy path was recorded. Okay, I'm stopping the recording. Now, if I replay it, so it would be executed like step by step what I did, it was being recorded there. In the replay, you can slow down and you can understand what exactly the user has done. So you can uh, put this like a replay, slow, medium, like a very slow, here you will be having more options, okay? So you can use these options and you can understand what is the user flow. So this is all about the recorder recorder option. So with this recorder option, not just uh, the Cypress test cases, it will also help us to record the user flow. The QA can record the user flow when the issue will occur and he can download this uh, recording. It will be exported in terms of JSON. Okay. And he can give to any of the developers or anyone where they can import it. Okay. And check that user flow. So where exactly the issue is getting. So there they can understand what it is okay so this the not only just for the cypress test cases it can also be used for the qa validation it can we can do a better communication with the qa with the help of this recorder option so fine we have recorded an happy path for the user flow by using the recorder now how to generate the cypress test cases if you see here uh, already we have seen an option here cypress test okay if you click this you'll be getting the cypress test cases okay uh, before that, to get Cypress test option here, we need to do one step. Okay, we need to add the Cypress test extension. So I'm going here, go to the Chrome Web Store. In the Chrome Web Store, I'm clicking Chrome Web Store and I will search for Cypress Chrome Recorder. So this extension you need to add to your uh, browser. This extension is needed. So I have already added. So I'm going back to the application. So once you add it, it may not, uh, sometimes it may not be reflected here. You need to close your application and again, open it, okay? In few cases, it will not uh, be directly available here after adding to the extension. So close this tab and again, open it. Then you can see this extension option. Uh, option. Once you add that extension, you could able to see this option. If you click this, so it will uh, save in the JS format. Okay, I'm saving that in the, in the desktop folder, fine. So apart from that, so now I have generated the tester. So what is there in that file? So uh, we can also see that code here itself, like show code, I click show code and see all the steps, the user flow was all, all defined here. Describe buying a, buying a coffee, test, test for buying a coffee and in which viewport we are there, what is a URL we opened, See, we click this coffee first and later this coffee, check out, typing our names, promotions, everything is there. 
So directly we can use this. This is how we can automatically generate the Cypress test cases with the help of this recorder. Just record your use cases, user flow, whether it is an happy path, whether it is an uh, edge cases, negative scenarios, all the user flow, if you just play around the application, all these test files would be generated automatically. So how easy it is, right? So give a try for this. And if you observe carefully here, it was just picking the things. There is no assertions, okay? Because assertions will not be provided automatically by this uh, extension. The reason behind this is we don't know, like uh, extension don't know like what we need to assert exactly. In our application, what should be assert? That we need to do, okay? For that, we have two options, copy this, and add a uh, manually, like what you want to assert, okay? When I hover something on this, the total should be this, or when I click this, I need to get a pop-up. All these assertions, you can add them manually, okay? By taking this, or else you have another option. So let me show you that option. So in the down, so when you click this um, submit, like a promotion checkbox, okay? Here you have multiple options. You can add a step before, add a step after, remove the steps, Whatever you want, you can do. I will add a step, add a step after. So now I will add an assertion. So uh, as I told, like assertions can be added manually by taking the script or else you can do in this way also. Now what I wanted to do is like, so when I click this, I'm getting this pop-up, right? So I want to check like when I click this, whether I'm getting this pop-up or not, that is my assertion. So to get that, so you no need to worry for the selector, you click here and here so it will give you the selectors what selectors we can use exactly it will be given of all these three selectors i think like you can go with the first selector so i'm re removing the other two selectors okay now you have selected this selector now you can put whatever you want you can put like add visible so whether it is visible or not add time count like a add count like uh, whether how many times it was there or not or else add your assertion. So whatever you wanted to add, you can do. So I'm adding like whether it is visible or not, whether this model is visible or not. Okay, so this is my assertion. Uh, in this way also you can do. Now if you export like, you will be getting this assertion also. Fine, this is uh, such an easy way to create the Cypress test cases. Okay, and uh, there are a couple of other options as well. Uh, you can check this profile uh, performance panel. So this is same as the performance tab which we have that was involved uh, given here itself. And uh, as I told, like you can replay this with a couple of uh, options, the speed options. And uh, also you have replay settings. If you wanted to test this user flow with the slow internet or fast internet, you can do that. So these are the different options we have. And uh, finally, like uh, if you need to have this recorder option, your Chrome version should be 101. It should be greater than 101 then only it will be working, okay? And if users, so don't want to use this in this way, the developers don't want to use this way, there is another way to use this Cypress Chrome recorder that is programmatically, like you can install that with the help of this NPM, NPM install Cypress Chrome recorder and programmatically also you can do the same. So you no need to open this. Okay, you no need to open this application and you no need, you don't want all these things, okay? These things should be done background and you only need this JSON file or uh, the Cypress test file. So in that cases, programmatical also you can implement it. Just uh, install this extreme uh, dependency and run this command. That's it. And give that which path of uh, you want to store your JSON file. Okay. This is this is how you can like uh, just run, run your application and run this command and it would be recorded automatically in the back end, like in the background and it would be stored in this uh, target folder, okay? Uh, this is uh, the second way of recording the Cypress test cases, okay? Hope uh, this helps us a lot. It gives us a lot of time. It saves a lot of time and it helps us to select the correct selectors of multiple selectors. It helps us to select a uh, particular selector, which is the best one. Uh, these are the major useful things with the Cypress test uh, recorder. So hope this helps you. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thanks.